almost through, you can feel it when it starts to go through. That's when you want to ease up on the drill. Because if you don't, it could bite too much and stop and spin and do all that good stuff. <clears throat> Just a little. That's how we're doing that. <laughs> Thought you guys would enjoy that little clip in there. So I still got this braced up on my little cart there. Now, what I'm gonna do is line this hole up right where I want it. I already have a little pre-drilled. Right, so that's where it wants to be. So I hold pressure on this. I put the C-clamp down. This usually works better when you got two people. Just saying. Especially in this limited amount of space that I got here. So. That's where I got. Another way to test if you're on point is you put a drop of oil on there. See where it drips right if it drips right where you want it then you know that's right where you want it See, with this particular setup, this truck has already had maybe not a uh, gooseneck, but it's had a fifth wheel, I believe. And that's what these holes are in the bed. So uh, we're going to utilize two of those holes. Let me get this thing on here. Well, go figure, those two holes don't match up. <laughs> That's all right. Actually, we got this thing on backwards. It's supposed to go that way. That way the chains are behind the hitch. At least I'm not 100% sure, but that's what would make sense to me. Because the chains coming from the trailer are probably not going to be as long as the ball. Or as far forward as the ball. So then... Now... The holes may not line up with the bed, but I do know for a fact that the frame is right there. Oops, there you go. The frame is right there. You can see the frame in there. So, that's where she's going to sit, right there. Whew. Now we just have to uh, drill through the bed.
it took a big bite in there. That's one of the problems. There we go. What happened was is the other drill took too big of a bite and uh, that's what was stopping it. Didn't have enough power to get through it. You gotta be very careful when that happens because that can really hurt your wrist too like you know with the jerking of it especially with this style right here you know because it just wants to twist around with this particular drill I got this extra extra hand you know helps slow it down from jerking like that A bolt in there. Oh, that's way too big. There we go folks, that's how we get her done. Now we're gonna have a nice fifth wheel, or gooseneck plate sitting there. What do you think? See, here's the advantage of a gooseneck. You can get in tighter spaces because you can jack it harder when you're trailering. It follows better. The weight is where it should be right over your rear axle instead of behind your bumper which makes you want to wobble back and forth right another reason you want a gooseneck is because a fifth wheel takes up way too much space in the bed like it literally takes up the whole bed gooseneck boom you just got that little ball right there you know so and they do they do make them where they unattach and you can pull it out Obviously, I'm too cheap for that, so I got this plate. So, that's where we're sitting. Don't forget to pound that like button. Pound that subscribe button, as always.